Hello there, Pisces, and welcome back for another tarot reading. Today, Pisces, is going to be another your person's reading. What does your person not want you to know, Pisces? So, um, since we're pulling that energy, I feel like that's kind of a lower self side, a darker side. I'm going to be pulling from my dark mirror oracle cards here to use the top and the bottom card for your person's energy for what they do not want you to know. And at the end, I pull a card from my Oracle of Shadows and Light here to get further information on your person, Pisces. Pisces, thank you guys so, so much. I really do appreciate you guys uh, supporting my channel with your likes, your shares, your subscription, your comments. I really do appreciate you guys so much because it's because of your support as well that I am able to grow my channel and I just want you to know that I do appreciate you guys so thank you Pisces so Pisces this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with you Pisces just take the part that fits and discard the rest because it only means that this is not the reading for you at this time Pisces so Pisces what does your person not want you to know Pisces Porter. Alone in the world. A lot of people have been getting this alone in the world card. I would say about, ooh, okay. Now see, Fated to Suffer, number 23. Was that 25? Now see, I already had a spread, but it kind of, it, it just, it was just too, too dark for me. So I didn't do it, but Fated to Suffer was one of these cards. So I Told you, I said, I asked my guys, okay, if this is the card for Pisces, let it come back out. Let these cards come back out. And Fated to Suffer is one of these cards that did come back out here. So this is the bottom card here, Fated to Suffer. So the message is pretty much the same then here. It's like, because the energy that I got on this previous uh, reading that I just did, that I did not upload, I just deleted it and doing another one, which is this one. It was as if your person was extreme because the other card you got, instead of alone in the world, you had revenge. You know, the revenge, this woman standing there holding two swords, like the two of swords. But it's like it said revenge. So I got the energy that your person is, is very upset with you, very spiteful, very hateful. I feel like this person is, if they're not trying to do something to you um, to harm you, physically then they're sending evil ill will your way because i was picking up evil energy from your person towards you is your person don't want you to know how evil hearted they really really are so but like i said this faded to suffer came back out and if you look at this picture this person is holding an apple it's like they're trying to tempt someone te uh tempt someone with a gift that's not good for them because it's like it's like your person would like to, to set up a trap for you. So, let me pull the rest of your cards here. Let me pull the rest of them. Let me shuffle. I mean, let me cut them because I've already shuffled them. Okay, Pisces. What does your person not want you to know, Pisces? So we have the star. We have justice. Oh. We have the world. We have the chariot. We have the Ace of Cups. <laughs> and we have the Eight of Coins. And we have, this was at the bottom of the deck as well, Five of Staffs here. This is the, these are the, two of the same cards. All the rest of these other cards are different, but the Five of Staffs was at the bottom here. So your person feels alone in the world here. 
I feel like with this world card here that there was a cycle that completed between the two. And that's what I felt like in the other reading that this person wanted a new beginning with you, but you didn't want to have a new beginning with this person because they were very, very reckless. That was that one. But either way it go, this person wants you to suffer. It's like your person, it's like your person is saying, if you're not with them, they don't want you to be happy in your life. So I feel like when you disconnected from this person, they feel alone in the world. They feel disconnected. And as a result, they're in this very negative energy towards you. They're very spiteful, revengeful. Uh, they're wishing ill will your way, Pisces. So next to this alone in the world card, we have the star card, which is Aquarius energy. Uh, so this is hope. This is inspiration. This is healing. Um, I feel like this person is very hopeful about this connection still. Because it's like, I feel like your person is like, if you take them back, if you're to be with them, then they're going to be happy and they're going to be, they're not going to wish ill will upon you. They're only going to wish positive things for you if you're with them. But if you're not with them, they're going to always be hating on you or sending very negative vibes your way here. Or it's like they're trying to set traps for you to fail here, some type of way here. Because I feel like emotionally, this person really feels lost without you here. Because there's a lot of, I feel like this person really loves you here. But I feel like this person's energy is, is not to be trusted because even if you was to be with this person, this person would still be in this fated to suffer energy. So it would be like if you're in a relationship with them, you got to do things precisely the way they want it done or they always going to be wishing ill upon you. You know, it's like they want to control things here. But underneath the star card, we have the chariot card, which is cancer's card here. So I feel like this person wants healing. This person wants to be healed. But I feel like this person wants more to heal this relationship so they can move forward confidently because I feel like they're not confident now. I feel like they're in very negative energy and they need to really get their energy right if they're going to come towards you. And I feel like they want to come towards you, but they don't want to come towards you in this reckless energy because you can't hide it from Pisces. Pisces is intuitive. Pisces know if your energy is all Pisces know when you hating on them. So this person is very revengeful and spiteful, I feel like. So when, uh, next to the star card here, you got major arcanas. You got the star, you have the chariot, you have justice, and you have the world card here. Wow. So you have a lot of major arcanas here. So this is very severe for your person, Pisces. So next to the star card, you have the justice card here. This is why this person wants to rush into you in this chariot energy because they feel like this is what's going to make them complete is to be with you. This is what's going to complete them. And they feel like it's only fair that they do this. So maybe this person's energy was so off. Cause like I said, maybe this person was very hateful of a, a hater on you. You probably was looking at this person like, God, you my man or you my woman, but you hating on me like that. God dang, are you for me or are you against me? But this person feels like they need to come in and, and uh, heal this relationship because you got the star right next to the justice card here. I feel like this person feels like they owe this to you. Because ultimately, I feel like they love you. Because underneath this justice card, you have the ace of cups here. So you have justice next to the star. This person is trying to heal themselves. This person doesn't want to be in this negative energy towards you. This is why they don't want you to know this. That they're very hateful and vindictive towards you if you're not with them. But at the same time, they still want you. So I feel like this person here feels like it, it, it'll be balanced and it's the fair thing to do is to come towards you and, um, you know, make it fair, bring, bring balance here. Cause this person, it, like, like I said, in this deck here, you see that on the scale, which is a Libra, by the way, so you could be dealing with a cancer Aquarius or a Libra, you see something on the inside the scale. So this person is coming with something here in order to make this right. This person is coming with evidence that uh, they can make it right. Obviously, they're coming with some type of evidence that they can make it right here. Because underneath this justice, like I say, you have the Ace of Cups. This is your energy, uh, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. This person wants to start completely over because I feel like they feel like they messed it up from their obsessiveness, their, their hatefulness. It's like this person, if, if, if they can't, be, if you're not happy with them, they don't want you happy nowhere else. And they, they wishing ill on you. 
very severe negative ill will towards you. They want to see you fail is, is what I see. But this person wants to come in and, and heal this relationship by offering you starting over, you know, completely starting over here with you. Um, and loving you because I feel like this person don't love themselves here. If they feel like, you know, they have to wish ill will on you and see, like I said, this person is alone in the world. This person feels like they're alone in the world. So it's like, if this person's not with you, this like, they can't even function emotionally. So this person needs to heal their emotions here, obviously, because they're sending you energy fated to suffer here. This is what I feel like they don't want you to know is that uh, deep down, they're very evil hearted towards you because of something that they need to clean up in their own self because alone in the world is some underlying issues that your person has here that that has them feeling like they wishing ill will on someone that they obviously love in this ace of cups here so next to the justice card we have the world card here i feel like a major cycle is ending for your person to be in this uh, fated to suffer energy. I feel like your person is putting in the work to heal themselves here. I feel like they want to bring balance to this situation. They want to bring fairness to you because after all, they love you and they feel like the right thing to do is to heal themselves and then come to you in this healing energy with something, either a plan that they've set out in this in this uh, justice energy here, either something that they've written down, some type of contract perhaps, some type of agreement or something that's going to prove to you that, that they're changed. Because it's like they're trying to prove to you that they're different here by offering you this Ace of Cups here. So they're, they're trying to come with something. They're trying to come with something to give you. So I feel like this is what is ending this major, major cycle for your person is that they can get rid of this negative, dark side of them, hateful. You know, if I if I don't win, screw everybody type of energy. I don't want to hear what you done did, Pisces. You ain't mine. You know, I don't want to hear that. You better hope you do this right. Or it might not turn out right. You know, just, well, I know you was going to fail. You know, it's, it's like that that type of energy your person is wishing upon you. So your person is knowing that this, well, this cycle is ending for your person to be this hater type of person here. Because underneath the world, we have the eight of coins. Now your person is really going to put in the work. I feel like your person is working hard to stay focused and to stay happy. I feel like this person, because this has been a lifestyle for this person. This is a, when you see all these uh, arcanas, major arcanas, you see the star card right next to the justice card, right next to the world card. Then you have the chariot card here. So this is like a major event for this person. So they're really going to work on keeping this independence. It's like a new, a new fresh fresh person here that they're trying to be and they're willing to put in the work and they're going to be working hard at doing this. Um, I feel like they're going to be working hard trying to stay out of confusion. And I feel like this is because this is at the bottom of the deck, the five of staffs. They're going to be working hard at not going back to that type of energy, this conflict competitiveness. Because I feel like this person would felt like you was not, man, Pisces, you probably wouldn't even study this person like that. You wasn't in competition with them. But this person is in competition with whoever they be around. It's because of something in them. So I feel like this person is working hard to stay out of this type of energy here because ultimately I feel like this person wants to be the, um, come to you in this night of coins and offer you some stability here. Yep. And underneath that, you got the page of staffs here. So this person wants to reach out to you. This person is doing a lot of healing, but what they do not want you to know, Pisces, is that they've been uh, low tip, really hating on you and sending you to evil eye Pisces, <laughs> but it still doesn't change. And even though they've been doing all that mess, they still love you and want a new beginning with you, Pisces. So Pisces, this has been your reading for what does your person not want you to know, Pisces. So if this video resonates with you, please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.